Something there is about a good tavern that inspires fierce loyalty. It's been consistently good for the 50 years I've been coming here. But this Lowell landmark, built in 1834, has fans like no other. We have many people that come in asking to see the fans turned on. More on the fans in a bit. For now, let's raise a glass to this throwback to an earlier era. The oldest bar in Lowell, the Worthen House Cafe. It's eclectic, I think is, is a good word. Uh, cozy and very warm. So you'll see writers, artists, musicians, construction workers, children, and they all sort of blend together. Penelope Harmorgus's family bought the Worthen, a registered historic landmark, in 2001. It came with a couple of centuries worth of legacy and lore, much of which can be found on the walls. One face in particular seems to be everywhere, even on the um, bobbleheads, that of local legend writer Jack Kerouac. This is our home base. If someone's going to come to Lowell and they want to see historic Lowell, they want to see a, 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 a tavern where Kerouac would hang out, this is the place. Cliff Whalen is with Lowell Celebrates Kerouac, an annual festival of poetry, music, and walking tours. This year marks the famous beat writer's 100th birthday, and the Worthen is going to be a busy place. This is headquarters. This is where you want to go if you're a Kerouac fan. Jack Kerouac isn't the only literary legend haunting the Worthen House Cafe. Edgar Allan Poe is also said to have spent some quality time here during his Massachusetts days. We believe that he had uh, a love interest here in Lowell, which is hence why he spent so much time here drinking in here and why he, uh, where he wrote The, the Raven. Legend has it that Poe wrote part of his famous poem in one of the rooms upstairs when it was a boarding house. As a result, images of ravens can be found nesting all over the Worthen. Problem is, the Worthen was a dry goods store when Poe was writing. It didn't become a tavern until 1898. So it's a great urban legend, and it really attracts a lot of attention, but we do have to be honest, he never was here. Still, ravens aren't likely to fly the coop anytime soon here at the Worthen. Not as long as Paul Harvey is turning out delicious food from his perch up front, the Raven Grill. I put out your basic uh, pub food with my own love and twist in it. There is a rotating list of daily specials, but Harvey's wraparound Lowell is built on his burgers. I don't know how you're going to put that in your mouth, but... <laughs> Behind the bar, yet more colorful quirks from the Worthen's past. Longtime employee, April Underwood. So this is a prohibition panel, so when you weren't allowed to sell alcohol, this is where they hid it. Upstairs in the attic, weekends bring an infusion of youth and decibels. And during quieter moments, the subtle flicker and flash of the resident ghost, Matthew. It's a positive presence. He is around. Strange things do happen that make you question your sanity. And finally, back to those fans. Originally powered by steam, these belt and pulley contraptions are said to be the only ones left in the country still in their original setting. A real turn on for fans of fans. Many people from out of town that are specifically coming to the war then will ask, you know, to see the fans. The Worthen has a basic recipe that's not easy to duplicate. Start, of course, with good honest drinks and tasty food, add a dash or two of historical oddity, and finish with a couple of shots of literary celebrity, a winning cocktail of hospitality that has regulars feeling possessive of this old joint. Call it the Worthen We. We have students, we have construction workers, we have lawyers, politicians, the city hall's right down the street. So we basically have a great, great clientele. As Ted mentioned, this year Lowell is celebrating the 100th birthday of native son Jack Kerouac. And there are many events planned, most notably on display at the Boot Cotton Mills Museum, a portion of the original 120-foot scroll on which Kerouac typed his on-the-road manuscript. Coming up, hitting home runs in Stoughton.